Hey there my friends, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are taking a look at a shirt from a company known as Wool X, and this is the X Lite Merino Wool shirt. Go ahead and get comfortable, grab yourself a cup of coffee like I have, and let's take a look at this now. Now, first things first, we might as well put this shirt on so you guys can see what it looks like. I'll go ahead and do a 360 for you so you guys can see what this shirt looks like. I have moved out of the way so the television isn't behind me, so it's not black on black, but here's the shirt. Now, I started off this video wearing one of these Old Navy shirts, active shirts, which you guys have seen me wear for years now. Now, there's a reason why I did that, and that's because this is my typical shirt. These shirts cost about 10 bucks. You can find them on sale sometimes for six. They're good quality shirts, very inexpensive. Now, this right here is a great quality shirt that cost a little bit of money. This shirt right here cost $60. So you're talking about 10 bucks compared to $60. Now we'll get back to that in just a moment. For now, let's just go over the stats and we'll come back to the price. This shirt is very, very lightweight, only 4.7 ounces. The Old Navy Active shirt, which is a polyester, is actually 5 ounces. This is 100% merino wool. It is 17.5 micron Australian wool. And I have to admit that it's definitely one of the most comfortable merino wool shirts that I have ever worn. Now, I know some of you guys and gals are fans of Icebreaker. And here's one of their merino wool shirts. And you know what? I happen to like this shirt, but I don't love it. I find this to be actually very itchy to my skin, and I can say from experience that this one is not. I have worn this over the course of a number of months now, and I have to say that I absolutely love this shirt. It really is comfortable. It breathes very, very well. It wicks away moisture very, very well. Definitely at least twice as good as the Old Navy shirts. I mean, certainly there is a big difference in quality and also there is a difference in price something to consider now when it comes to shirt materials merino wool is some of the best out there not only does it you know wick away moisture it breathes very well but it also retains a little bit of heat when wet which is very important for backpackers and athletes now as i mentioned i have been testing this shirt out for a couple of months now and i have to say that i absolutely love it it is worth every single cent of the $60. First off, the fit on this is perfect. I absolutely love the fit. It's nice and, you know, it fits well across the chest. You have enough space in the arms to move to do what you gotta do. It doesn't feel restrictive. Absolutely no itching whatsoever. And like I said before with this icebreaker shirt, I definitely, that was my biggest issue with it, was that it was itchy. Also, the fit wasn't all that great. Not. I like my clothes to be a little bit more form-fitting, and this shirt definitely is. Over the last couple of months, I have been really testing out this shirt. I have worn it for many, many days, and sometimes for like a week straight, just to test the antibacterial properties of the wool itself. We'll get to that in just a second. I have worn this shirt from around 45 degrees all the way up to 80. I've done it at nighttime in the rain and the fog. I've also done it in the just blazing sun soaking wet and sweat and I tell you what it really does a fantastic job of wicking away moisture and also regulating body heat it really is an amazing material going back to the antibacterial properties now I have worn this shirt for one week straight and every single night I would go out with one of my friends maybe my brother and do some night hiking and I'm talking strenuous night hiking up mountains thousands of feet of elevation gain and descending and just sweating our brains out. And I didn't mention that to anyone either, and no one noticed. Definitely no funk at all coming from the shirt. As an example, if you were a through hiker on the Appalachian Trail, having two of these shirts in your pack, and you would be absolutely covered for the times where you're out of town until you get into town to do some laundry. Another aspect that I like about this shirt is that it is stretchy, as you may be able to see. I really, really like that. When it comes to drying, very, very quick, no issues at all. You can hang this thing up when it's soaking wet and within a couple of hours, it'll be nice and dry. Very impressive indeed. It should be mentioned when it comes to comfort that there is no tag on this shirt. So nothing's gonna be rubbing you 
absolutely awesome. It's just stamped on. Now, when it comes to the wool -like shirts, this is the X-Lite. They also have three different weights depending on which season that you're hiking in. Now, these do come in a number of different sizes. You have small, medium, large, extra large, and 2X large. This is a small, as I said, and it weighs 4.7 ounces. Cost $60. So my friends, we need to go back to the price. This is where the discussion begins. You have to decide what type of person you are. Do you buy a $10 shirt and replace it frequently? Or do you spend a little bit more, say $60, and wear that shirt for a very long period of time? So you're talking about something that's very durable and strong that will last you but more expensive, or something that's very inexpensive, doesn't last as long. Only you can decide what type of person you are. Now for me personally, I love this shirt. No doubt about it. I'm definitely a fan and I plan on ordering a couple of more just because they're so incredibly comfortable. I'm very, very impressed. As I mentioned, with this Icebreaker shirt, a lot of people really, really like these. And if you do, I would say, hey, give Wolex a shot because in my opinion, this is a much better, higher quality shirt. Definitely more comfortable. I love the fit on it, like I said before. As of the time of making this video, the color selection of these shirts is limited. You have black and you have blue, and that's it. When it comes to durability, I have mentioned that I've had this shirt for a couple of months now, and I've been wearing it very, very frequently. I've washed it at least six, seven times, and there is no pilling at all on this shirt. I mean, it looks brand new. looks like I just pulled it out of the wrapper. So my friends, for our review of the Woolex X Lite Merino Wool shirt, that's pretty much it. It's definitely a winner in my book. If you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Drop me a line. Let me know. Make sure to check out our Facebook page, our website. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys around. Strength and honor, my friends. Later.